Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Dragon Warrior Monsters. Anyways, in the last episode... Hey there, what are you gonna do? Anyways, uh, in the last episode, we lost our sister Muriel, and now we are in Great Tree. So yeah, in the last episode, we lost our sister, we're in Great Tree. And, uh, yeah. So as I was explaining in the other, uh, episode, this game is basically a dungeon crawl, and Great Tree is going to be our... Great Tree is going to be our, uh, headquarters for the game. And basically, they want us to win the tournament so that we can get our sister back. That doesn't sound like heroes. That sounds like people just sit around and wait for things to happen. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is the monster, the former kings. Why did you adopt that monster? Huh, this is the only one left. That Pulio! He must have let out the other mon- He must have let the other monsters escape. Bring Pulio, yeah! Anyways, yeah, so now, they're gonna bring Pulio here to explain why he let the monster go. The hail escape as well. Please forgive me, hail escape too! Ah, you let my precious hell escape too. This is unforgivable. I'm in the dungeon. What, Terry? You have something to say? Well, I did talk a whole bunch in Dragon Quest VI, but as a child, I guess I was very shy. Yeah, I'll catch hail for you. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Yeah, that's what I'll do for you. Travel to the Traveler's Gate. And they want us to go to the Traveler's Gate to bring... Bring Hail back so Pulio can be part of and, and basically, we gotta go downstairs. And now this king is leaving. Where is he going? Why can't I get over there? It's my fault. I know, let me tell you a useful thing. You can record your quest using the journal under options. Now we can come and get some treasures. Yeah, so like I said in the last episode, I think, this game is kind of... We got two herbs. This game's kind of a dungeon crawl kind of game. Where, uh... Where this, this place will be our headquarters, and then we go to various traveler's gates or other places. And, uh... Little master, huh? And there we'll find items and stuff, money and whatnot. Yeah, and we can only carry up to 20 items, which is which really sucks. It should be 20 types, different types of items, and each item gets up to nine things you can hold. But oh well. So now we have to chase after hail. We are on the chamber of travelers' gates. This way to the travelers' gate. Hey, let's escape through this gate. We're counting on you, Terry. I guess those other guys couldn't go in the, uh, the thing. Anyways, let's go into our first dungeon. Our first traveler's gate. And this is basically what the game is going to be composed of. And you hear this lovely music. And so, yeah, if you hit the select button, you will see that we are on a field or whatever. Uh, the dungeon. And it's one out of four floors, okay? So yeah, as we go, we can pick up items, like an herb, while we search for the gate to go further below. And this is basically the game. I mean, you get to the... Ooh, what's this? We found a warp ring, which will bring us back to the castle if we ever have any trouble. And look at this. Here's our first battle against the Drakey. So what we can do, we can use our items... But this will take up one turn, so Civ will not be able to fight. We can fight regular, which will basically, what that does... Yeah, I'm going to have to raise the, uh, that, that thing. Granted, Civ only has, uh... Yeah. Yay, we beat the Drakey. Now, we don't get money in this game when we beat monsters, which is kind of weird. 
Yeah, let's raise the bow speed. Jeez. Jeez, it's three. Yeah, three's good. If it needs to be any higher, I'll move it even higher. But anyways, yeah, so I'll show you a different way to, I guess, uh, do battling. But you can just go with fight, and basically it will, it will go on, um, change plan. It'll basically go on whatever plan you have for them. So charge, basically, will have them use their most powerful attacks without worrying about without worrying about MP at all, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty good if you're going all-out offensive. Mixed, basically, will, they'll mix between a various variety of, of spells and abilities, because we'll also learn abilities in this game. Cautious, which will, they'll use up the abilities, but they'll try not to use too much with too much magic and things. And then Command, which basically, you command them. Now, I don't know if you click on that, if that's going to make him... B command during battle, but we'll see. Get another warp wing. And look, here's a Drake monster. And Sib receives damage. Aw, oh, damn it, I didn't want to do that. Alright, now if you hit plan and you can change it, and you hit command, and now you'll actually get to pick what you want to do, you can actually have him, which I think is dumb, they should just do this right off the bat, but whatever. It's the first game of the series, you know what I mean. So you can attack regularly, you can use a skill if, he does, if, he, if you have any skills, or you can defend. And I'm just gonna have him attack. Yay! Anyways, we don't have any M a MP. I'm thinking of Dragon Quest. Uh, Breath of Fire. We don't have any magic power right now, but if we were walking around, um, our magic power would gradually restore, which is cool. So this is basically the gist of the game. You walk in the forest, you get attacked more. Mountains, you get attacked more. Uh, when you're on the plains, you don't get attacked as much, which is pretty cool. And now we'll be actually getting... Now whatever, I'll show this battle too. Well actually, I'll be showing a couple of battles, but anyways, we'll be actually getting, obviously, more monsters in our group as we uh, walk around this dungeon, or gate, or whatever the hell it is. And eventually, monsters will try to, uh, like, join your group, but I think you have to be on a higher level or something. And they have to be, like, weaker than you. Something like that. Yeah, it seems like the only monsters that we're fighting in here is Drakis. But I want to show a level up, so... Sib is taking some massive damage. But yeah, this music is, uh... I think most people have heard it from the other Dragon Quest monster game. But this is the original. And look at that power. And look, the Draki got up and he's looking at us. Sure, you can be in my party. And now as you can see, each each monster is male and female. And they come up with some pretty unoriginal names for these care for these monsters. I'm just gonna kinda keep them mainly this whatever they're named. Because if I wanna if I wanna make a new one, like if I wanna make a new one, it'll basically just be then I can give them a name. But right now, I'm more than likely not going to use a Drakey in my uh, my party forever, so. They, yeah, they just come up with some sad names. Like, and I think it's just because they have four characters. But as you can see, uh, Sybil's, uh, or Sib's, um, MP is coming back, although he doesn't have any spells or anything. Let's take on two on one. DK for Donkey Kong or Drackey or whatever. Like uh, when basically whenever I want to like, yay! Yeah, it was quick. Anyways, basically whenever I want to um, whenever I want to like uh, promote these uh, monsters, you basically have to breed them. Meaning you have to get a male and a female together. Have them make an egg, and then from there, you can, uh, you can make
make a new monster. And th those monsters supposedly will, like, keep this, some abilities or something like that from another... From another, uh... Thing or something, from their parents or something. So one of the things I want to do is eventually get someone who can learn a heal spell. And like in Dragon Warrior, um, or Dragon Quest Monsters, Caravan Heart, ability, abilities that you, uh, that you get in the game will actually, uh, grow. Like, say someone has a heal ability. When, when they go up to a certain level, the heal will turn, turn into heal more. Or, uh, you know, some other spell will turn into something more powerful, which is very cool. And you only have a limited amount of abilities that you can learn per, ki per monster as well. Anything over here? Basically... Basically... Oh, look, we got a slime monster. Basically, for the first... A uh, couple of dungeons that you're in, you definitely want to um, you definitely want to explore as much as you can. Because later dungeons, you're just gonna be like, I want to get out of here, because they can get pretty far down, like 20 floors. It's crazy. And just make sure to look at your map. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, yeah, cause you want to get. Right. Let's go in the. Anyways, normally on the last floor, they'll play different music. And right now, I guess they're just going to play the, uh, the overworld theme or whatever. Can we get an herb? And I just want to let everyone know, also, I'm going to be power leveling in this game. Big time, because, again, this is going to be semi-blind after a point, and, um... What the hell? And and uh, basically, it's gonna be semi-blind, right? And so the way that I deal with things when I don't know what's coming is I always prepare by being ultra beefed up with levels and things. Yeah. So your map is gonna be very important to look at, like a lot. And also, yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna show all the battles. For the first dungeon and you don't really get any money you find money randomly throughout the uh throughout the dungeon which kind of sucks i kind of wish they gave money like as you fought instead of you know you gotta find it but whatever you basically want to sell off any excess items you have oh look at this this is from this is from Dragon Quest 4! Is that Healy? Yeah, you remember the cave that uh that we went down to go get the, the flying boots? I know you are here to catch me, but you can forget it. The farm is born. I don't wanna go back. So now we gotta fight Hail the Heal Slime. And basically you're just gonna fight this guy. You should. You probably don't have any special abilities that you're gonna use yet. Ah, damn it! He cast heal on himself. But I do have to give it to this game. You know, considering all the stuff that's in it, they did do. It does feel like there's a lot of stuff from when I've played. Stop healing yourself. Alright, let's use an item on Sib. And see, that takes up Sib's turn, I believe, yeah. Oh no! I guess Terry has uh, his own turn. Ugh, stop healing yourself, for the love of... No, no, no. For the love of Jib. Yeah, you probably want to be on higher levels here, but... Whatever. You can't have much more in you, right, man? Die! Yay! We killed the healer slime. 
And he's gone up and looked at us. And he wants to know if he wants to be in our party. Hell yes, he's our first slime. He's the first slime that has, uh, you know, he's the first monster that has healing. Shit, yeah. We'll take hail all day. Yay! Yeah, you better like me. So now we have two slimes and one flying monster. And every time you beat, uh, a Traveler's Gate, uh, Warabu will come back and get you. So yeah, that's basically the gist of, uh, how this works. Let's just, let's just finish talking with the king and then I'll end the episode. Yes, I did. But he said he would rather join you? Oh, I see. Hmm. You sure are good with monsters. Well done. I'm pleased with your performance. I will let Julio go. Look at that. We saved his life. Thank you, Terry. Now I can go back to my farm. Go to the arena. Your rivals are waiting for you at the arena. You can compete in the tournament if you defeat all of them. You are dismissed. Busy, busy, busy. So now he's going to let us go to the arena and we can actually explore Great Tree in the next episode. And after every time we go through a dungeon, the minister will heal us. And he will give us an herb. If you survive in the arena, you can compete in the tournament. Yay! So yeah, in the next episode, we'll head off into the arena. This has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.